guys, it's Lexi. This is only my second video, so I'm super, super, super nervous. I am gonna be showing y'all a variation of how I wear my hair every day. Sometimes I use a wand, sometimes I use a straightener. Today I'm showing y'all how I use a wand. They are very soft, beachy waves. They look better second and third day, and I just love them, and I hope you do too. Okay. First, I'm gonna start out by using this wand. It's by Paul Mitchell. You can adjust the heat. It doesn't have a clip on it, so that's what makes it a wand. I use it on 400, but you can pick whichever heat setting that you like. Second, I'm gonna be putting this heat protectant in my hair. It's by Kerastase. It seals your ends and it helps prevent breakage. I focus a lot on the front of my hair because I put a lot of heat on that, those parts. Okay, now I'm going to section out about a one inch section. I usually do about two sections in the back. If your hair is longer, you might wanna split it into three. I'm gonna take this. Pull it around my back, pinch the ends, and wrap it. I'm wrapping it one time because of my length. If you have longer hair, you'll just keep wrapping it until you have about an inch of your ends sticking out. You have like a little curl. Okay, so the pieces around my face on this section, because I don't wanna to lose too much length, I curl them, but not really. So I'm gonna take this and slide it up and down to create a slight bend. Notice that I'm curling away from my face. Like everything is going back. I'll show you in the next section. Away. So never towards, always. And if you're worried that a section is gonna get too curly, you can always slide it like I'm doing.
it towards the top, I start taking long rectangular sections. This is so I don't create too much volume if I go this way, because if you hold the wand and you do a bunch of little sections, you're gonna get more volume right here versus if I take flatter sections and pull it down, I'm gonna get more texture, less volume. And I curl less on the top sections. So I leave almost like an inch and a half, two inches out. You can always go back and curl more, but you want it to blend without looking big. Go ahead and start shaking it all out. Okay, now is your time to go in and customize it. Before I put the texture paste in, I'm gonna go through and see what I feel like is too curly. This piece right here, I don't like. So I'm gonna take this and basically iron it out. See how it just kind of softens it? And then I'm gonna go through and just do a few more pieces. This kind of gives it that second, third day slept on look without sleeping on it. use this texture paste. I'm going to apply a quarter size to my palms. I'm going to rub it in. It's shiny, but in the, whenever you put it through your hair, it's matte. So I'm going to rub it all in. This is the same thing as a spray-on dry shampoo texture paste, I just like the paste version. I hope you like it, and if you do, subscribe, and like, like, like.